Krisa. 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 Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to this new video. Today we're doing a Q and A with the legend Alex Bogner. Mate, can you introduce? Can you introduce yourself like in three words? Who are you? Um, hey guys, I'm Alex Bogner. I ride for Alpes in the Koenig with the development team with Henry and um, I'm the 2021 Jit Academy winner. Let's start a video and maybe the fans can get to know you better now. Yeah, for sure. Uh, on Instagram we ask you about some questions which we can give Alex. Some are good, some are not so good, but we just start. Since when you're living here in Girona mm -hmm. and why? Yeah, I, I moved here last year. After the Von der Zutte Academy, I, they said you should live in Girona because it's the easiest place to live for a uh, non-European cyclist. So if you're English or Australian or New Zealand American, there are lots of uh, English speakers here. So it's very easy to live here. This is the main reason why. And then also the training is really nice. Um, it's close to an airport. Uh, yeah, and it's quite an easy and cheap place to live. So. This is one of the main reasons why I lived here. You know, it um, was very, the team recommended it to me. And yeah, it's the best training roads I've, I've been on. So yeah, I'm very lucky to uh, live here in Girona. What is the best spot to go for coffee in Girona, in your opinion? What is the best spot? Um, mate, for me, my favorite spot to go for coffee would probably be uh, Hidden. This is my favorite spot because they do the best cookies. And I really like cookies, so this is my favorite spot before before a ride or after a ride. And then in the ride is always uh, the famous cake shop on the coast loop. Do you miss Australia every day? No, I do not miss Australia every day. Maybe every once once and again. Like, I really like living here, so I, I've always wanted to live in Europe and like be here and experience the lifestyle and stuff. So. Yeah, do I miss Australia? Yeah, I do sometimes, but then, yeah, I was I like being here and I like being in Australia and for different reasons. So, yeah, it's nice to be home in Australia. It's also nice being home here in uh in Spain in Girona, in Europe. So you can call this place home. Yeah, now I can call this place home for sure. Oh, that's really good. Did you meet kangaroos in Australia? And you like kangaroos? Yes, I do meet kangaroos sometimes. When I'm riding, actually, uh, they're actually really dangerous because they, on the roads, because sometimes, you know, it's dry and then the best uh, grass is what we call, is right next to the road. So they come really close to the road, especially in the morning. So you ride early morning. Um, there can be sometimes you come down a hill at 70 kilometers an hour and there's a kangaroo and it's like they could jump in front of you and you could crash. So yeah, they're quite scary and stuff. But um. Yeah, they're quite cool creatures and then you see them maybe once every six months in Australia where I live. But yeah, I've seen quite a few. You want to travel one day to Germany? Yeah, I do want to travel to Germany. I want to see what that's about. I want to see the local people. I want to be, see where Henry grew up and where he lives. Yeah, I really want to see like Germany and experience um, experience the legends. I want to, I want to do some beer tasting. I want to taste all the German food, see how I taste, see how it tastes. I want to rate it. Yeah, I'm really. Uh, I would like to actually be in Germany and and see what it's like because I like experiencing new countries and new cultures and and people and stuff. Mate, you're you're warm, welcomed and invited to come. Thank you, mate. I love this. So next love question. Do Hopefully, Deutschland tour. Deutschland tour, yeah. Deutschland tour. Best thing about living in Europe best reason is to live in Europe is because all the best races are here and the biggest races so in cycling so this is probably the best reason yeah would you come to Europe without cycling yeah I would come to Europe would I live here maybe it depends on the job um, but yeah I would come here to visit or something like this but yeah the main reason why to live here is for, for cycling and it's yeah really an amazing place to live if you're a cyclist you know uh, like how does it work to be like a Devo team rider, mm. but you still can live like a pro rider? As an Australian and not a European, like not having parents living here in Europe, let's say, yeah, I'm not based and I have people living that I can live off in Belgium, so 
I need to uh, support myself here. So I, yeah, I do get some, some wage. So I get enough to live here in Girona and, and it's quite cheap living here too. So it's not too, it's pretty easy going, I'd say. And then yeah, I've had a two year development contract with Alperson. So I'm really happy and grateful for that. What you would say are your writer specialities? Specialities? <laughs> specialities. I get so my writer specialities uh, in Europe. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm supposed to be a, a good climber, but I haven't proven myself in any climbing race yet. So hopefully this season I can do something like this. Um, but yeah, like I also really like racing my bike and stuff. And yeah, hopefully I become a good all round racer, which is I think is something better to target for and not just think about, oh, I'm going to especially trying to just target climbs and all you look forward to is climbing because especially these days, it, it matters more to be a good bike racer all around than just to be really specific in one area. So yeah, I'm trying to learn off, off this big guy, learn, um, learn everything I can from him and then hopefully I can be a good bike racer and then hopefully uh, my strength should be, should be in climbing. What's your long-term goal in Europe? Long, in cycling? Long-term goal is to, uh, or hopefully, obviously, yeah, uh, as all guys do want to turn professional and make a career out of it. Yeah, do quite well, hopefully, you know, race your bike at the highest level in Europe, which is what everyone dreams of doing, you know. So, yeah, and then I think everyone wants to do some kind of grand tour. This, uh, you know, once you've done one of these, it's quite special to do, you know. Who's your best riding training partner in Girona? Best training partner? Right now it's Henry. Henry's actually, he's helped me out a lot. He's really good to follow, especially in the, on uh, descents. He makes me a little, or well, he just drops me straight away, but sometimes when I can follow him, he pushes my limits. So he's a really good training partner. Like there's so many professional cyclists in Girona, but not everyone trains together because we always have different days and stuff. So yeah, I have like a few good mates that I train with and then such as Tom Glogue or, or um, Sean Flynn, who's also our my, uh, my housemate. So. Yeah, there's lots of guys I can train with if I want to. Thanks for taking your time. Thanks we, for having me. We as Team Circle Ross because I wish you all the best. Thank you, mate. Hopefully a great season with the opposite team. And you too, mate. We see us on the road, mate. Yeah, we see each other on the road. Wuchende. <laughs> Wuchende. Okay. Yeah. Wuchende. Oh, see you guys next week. See weekend. you guys next <laughs> Who